Today we gather in our homes, we gather in our lounge rooms, we sit around tables, we stop, we remember, we rejoice, we reflect. Good Friday, where death was defeated. Paul stated in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 3 and 4, For what I received I passed on to you, as of first importance, that Christ died for our sins, according to the Scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day, according to the Scriptures. Jesus went to the cross. It is Good Friday, a holy, spiritual time. Luke records in chapter 23 that the whole crowd shouted, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Barabbas had been thrown in prison for insurrection in the city and for murder. Wanting to release Jesus, Pilate pleaded with them again. But they kept shouting, crucify him, crucify him. For the third time he spoke to them. Why? What crime has this man committed? I have found no grounds for the death penalty. Therefore, I'll have him punished and then I will release him. But with loud shouts, they intensified, demanding that he be crucified. And their shouts prevailed. Just let me say, so often the loudest voices aren't always right. But God Almighty used an angry, loud, demanding crowd to set in motion his plan for salvation. That could also save those that shouted, crucify him, crucify him. If only they too would believe in Jesus. Today, this Good Friday, let some words from the cross, let some words from that scene once, once again ring in our ears. The word today in Luke 23, 40 to 43, that the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered, truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Today, what is your choice? What is your confession? What is your testimony? What is your word of hope and joy? What do you say to our Saviour? In Luke 23, verse 34, we have the word forgiven. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. And they divided up his clothes and cast lots. I pray you've received his forgiveness. In John 19, verse 30, there is a powerful word, finished. When he had received the drink, Jesus said, It is finished. It is done. With that, he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. Look to the cross. Look to your Saviour. It is finished. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 27, verses 50 and 51, it records, 
And when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice, he gave up his spirit. And at that moment, the, the curtain in the temple was torn from top to bottom. The earth shook, the rocks split. Torn. The Holy of Holies. This inner room representing God's presence. It was so sacred that only one person was allowed in and that was the high priest. And only one day of the year to make atonement for his sins and for the sins of the people. This sacred room, the Holy of Holies, was separated from the rest of the temple by this elaborate, heavy, embroidered curtain, which now was torn in two. From top to bottom. Jesus' death was shocking, amazing, bewildering. God deliberately tore the curtain to make a point that mankind's sin, which had cut us off from him, could now be forgiven through Jesus Christ. His death. His sacrifice was enough. Don't look to the priest. Look to Jesus. At any time, on any day, look to Jesus, the way, the truth and the life. The cross is a powerful symbol. Maybe you wear one around your neck. Maybe you have one in your home. Jesus hung there, a cruel, agonising death. A symbol of death and torture has become for the Christian, for you and I, hope and life this Good Friday. For Jesus took our place and he died for all. Don't make it about the cross this one day each year. Celebrate. Remember. Focus. Take time with your family and friends to break bread and to take the cup. And to remember all that Jesus has done. Who will join me? Who will speak about the power of the cross? Who will tell others the importance of what Jesus did? It starts today. It starts here. It starts now. For we are forgiven. For we are restored. For we are welcomed home. Good Friday, when death was defeated. Chris Tomlin has a song called Cross. Rain Red. At the cross, at the cross, I surrender my life. I'm in awe of you. I'm in awe of you. Where your love ran red and my sin washed white. I owe it all to you. I owe it all to you, Jesus. Where love ran red and my sin washed white. But he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. God bless you. 
Amen.